Nick Dunn took my pride and my dignity and my hope and my money. He took and took from me until I no longer existed. That's murder. Let the punishment fit the crime. Rosamund Pike's performance as Amy Dunn in the film adaptation of Gillian Flynn's Gone Girl was masterful. An awe-inspiring performance and just a wonderful depiction of Amy Dunn, and also one of my favorite villains of all time. First, I want to look at Amy Dunn's motive. A motive that I believe a good villain should have, rather than being evil just for the sake of being evil. And Amy's motive begins with her upbringing. Amy's parents utilized her childhood to create a children's book under her name, calling it Amazing Amy, as expressed by Amy. Amazing Amy has always been one step ahead of me. She did better in sports, she did better in life in general than Amy did, and this contributed to the decline of Amy's self-image and caused some early emotional issues. She later met Nick Dunn and they began dating and later got married. But slowly, their marriage collapsed, and over five years, tension, anger, disappointment, and even physical abuse arose. The illusion, the semblance that both Nick and Amy played reached its climax when Nick cheated on her. Amy Dunn was based purely off of vengeance, thereby introducing Amy's cool girl monologue. Cool girl is hot. Cool girl is gay. Cool girl is fun. Cool girl never gets angry at her man. She only smiles in a chagrin loving manner. Dunn's monologue serves as the role that she played throughout the film, but also a societal role that some people do play. Amy Dunn conformed to the needs of Nick, the submissive wife catering and transforming herself for her husband into the cool girl. In her mind, Amy Dunn was the perfect partner and still managed to get cheated on. And the fact that she transformed herself for five years of her life only to be cheated on, it was the match in the powdered barrel, a self-destruction and a loss of self. This loss of self prompted the decay of her own mind, which then led to vengeance. Amy set out to ruin Nick Dunn's life and her villainous tendencies began to flourish. Her genius mind was placed in the limelight, and her actions were all based off of the five-year knowledge she had of Nick, how he thinks and how he acts. Cleaning her floor the way he would, tripping the alarm looking suspicious in her father's house, little marks of blood on the walls, shattered glass, this was only the beginning, and her successes lied in the way she manipulated the perception of Nick. She bumped up her insurance, countless credit card purchases, faked her pregnancy, made it seem as though Nick hated children. She stated he had a temper and that he hit her. All that coupled with the diary confirming this and confirming her fear of him. Amy was quick-witted and intelligent. Amy Dunn was a sadistic, twisted individual, but what was impressive is that she was so incredibly calculated. Amy Dunn planned ahead and was willing to harm herself in order to play the part that needed to be played, in order to fool those against her. Amy Dunn was obsessed with ruining Nick's life. It took her to the point of hitting herself in the head with a hammer in order to look like she had been abused by her husband. Amy slit Desi's throat as soon as he climaxed as proof of her self-defense, and she followed this by bathing in his blood. My jaw dropped and I was left in disarray, and she followed this by wearing his blood like a piece of clothing like a trophy even. I think the most terrifying aspect of Amy Dunn is that she is a regular person, a regular woman, someone who you could meet and later fall in love with. Her voice was seductive and sensual, much like her actions. She was cold, quick-witted, intelligent, and worst of all, she was vengeful, like many people. And the first and last shot of the movie recapitulates Amy Dunn's transition and transformation as a character. The first shot shows a fearful and secure Amy, the changed Amy. But the second shot is Amy in complete control of the relationship. That sadistic slight smile, the glow, the arch of her eyebrows, and the most piercing, powerful eyes that I've ever seen. The second shot represents victory. 
Amy Dunn is a fantastic villain because even when she had nearly lost, Desi found her and she ended up killing him and making it look like it was self-defense and she later returned to Nick and again the perceptions had changed. Now she was a survivor and with this she forced Nick to stay with her for many many years after that because of her final move. She was pregnant. The final shot left me with unease. Amy now held the entire relationship in the palm of her hand. Now Nick had to conform to the person who Amy fell in love with, and I don't think he would even dare cheat on her again, or try to leave, because if he did, he already knew the intelligence that Amy had and the lengths that Amy would go to in order to ruin his life. Amy Dunn is one of my favorite villains, for one overlying reason, and that reason is, in the end, she won. <laughs>